Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to clear Annihilation 1 on Chernobog. I already made a video about that but without a commentary. So most of you asked me about why I use that operator, can I replace that with that, uh, why my show can't push them into the hole and something like that. So I wanted to make a remake version but this time with a commentary. So to clear that uh, mod to that stage you need a squad like that and I advise you to promote everyone expect a show to at least elite one so you can do the auto deploy safely anyway you'll need a, a normal vanguard that can obtain constantly deployment points just like a courier scavenger uh, zima then you'll need a single block vanguard that obtain deployment points for every kill so vigna Bloom or uh, Granny. After that you need a single target uh, caster. Amiya is very good so just use her. Then a uh, AOE caster, two single target uh, sniper, two defender, two medics, Melanfa or uh, guard with height HP and height attack and the show. Remember that you need the show at, uh, with the skill at least at level 4 or higher. If the level is uh, isn't uh, at level 4 or higher, you can't push the enemy into the hole, remember that. And you can replace uh, everyone in that squad with higher rarity operators, just uh, Fang with Courier, Zima, Scavenger, uh, Lava with uh, Gitano, Skyfire, Cross with uh, XUCIA, Platinum, Blapazon, Beagle with uh, Saria, Hoshiguma and so on. So please stop asking me if I can replace that with that. If they are the same category of uh, operators, you can replace them. Anyway, start deploying a single block vanguard here and a normal vanguard here. So that vanguard will give you Solot uh, deployment points because uh, she'll uh, be able to kill uh, many enemies. After that you need to deploy a single target sniper here and a medic here. Another medic here. Remember to deploy your defender as uh, last operator. I'll explain you why later. Now just wait uh, for enough uh, deployment points to deploy your AoE caster and deploy her on that position. Now deploy show on that position and deploy your first defender here. Your, remember to deploy your best defender uh, on that position so on the top lane you can deploy any defender. You can also use uh, Noir Korn. If your sniper isn't across but Exusia A blows on you can skip that step. But if your sniper is with low DPS, you can think to deploy another sniper here to help to reduce the, the pressure on the front line to your defender and vanguard, but that's optional. Now, when that junkman will appear, you can retire that vanguard and deploy your last defender here. The reason uh, to deploy your uh, defender as the last operator because uh, in the uh, future, around uh, 3250, there will be a senior caster, enemy senior caster, that can do uh, AoE damage to your uh, operators. For example, if the enemy senior caster will target your defender, the damage is uh, a cross, so every operator on that cross will take the damage. That's why you need to deploy your defender as last operator, because uh, in late I'll retire that vanguard and that sniper. So on that cross there will be no operators, and only your defender will take the damage from the senior caster. Remember that, that is very important, or your medic won't be able to heal everyone. I really hope you can understand my bad English. <laughs> anyway, don't retire your vanguard in early, because uh, if you retire, your defender won't be able to block all those enemies. So you need to keep the vanguard on the, on the fight. I'll tell you when to retire that vanguard.
and uh, be careful about that uh, crossbowman leader. When the, that enemy will reach uh, that zone, you need to activate your medic skill, or that sniper will die. Unless uh, she is an uh, elite, uh, elite one. Now you can activate the skill, medic skill. Okay, that is a very important step. You need to activate your uh, AoE caster skill on that uh, on that timing because there are so lot of enemies. And if you don't activate her skill, the enemies will uh, go through your uh, defender. Ok guys, there we go, the first senior caster. Don't worry about uh, the first wave because your operators will survive. You just need to be careful with the second wave. Because uh, in the second wave there are uh, two enemy uh, senior caster. And uh, when those two will uh, start to move and reach that zone, you need to retreat the vanguard and your sniper. So they, they will only target your defender. So, retreat your vanguard and your sniper. And now, when the enemy uh, heavy defender will appear, you need to deploy Amiya here. Because, uh, yes, Shou can push them down, but Shou needs to push like uh, 6, 7 or 8 times before they fall in the hole. Uh, so you need someone to kill them faster, or they will uh, stuck in front of that defender, and that, and that defender can only block 3 enemies. That's why you need someone to kill them faster. Now, keep your uh, operator's skill for later. If you want, you can active Amiya's skill. And now, active Lava's skill. And deploy your vanguard here again, to block some enemies. When those enemies will die, you can retreat here. Active Amiya's skill again. And when that enemy heavy defender will come on that lane, you'll need to active Lava's skill and your defender's skill. Active your medic's skill too. And you can retreat Amiya because you don't need her anymore on that position. Now be careful because those three enemies will follow that uh, uh, road. So you'll need to deploy uh, Active that Medic skill and uh, I was saying you need to deploy a sniper here and when those two enemies will start to attack your sniper, deploy Melanfa here. And in theory that enemy will die. But if uh, he won't die, you'll need to, you just need to elite that sniper or uh, level up a little bit your Melantha. But in theory, you can do it. Now, be careful here, because you need to active Lava's skill and deploy... Uh, retry Jessica now, when that enemy is died, and deploy a uh, Vanguard here to block that uh, enemy senior, cast, uh, senior caster and bloom here. Now active uh, your uh, defender skill and uh, your medic skill too. You need to keep that uh, senior caster busy because uh, uh, else that defender will die and destroy your uh, frontline. Now you can deploy Amiya here because you'll need her to kill uh, Crown Slayer on that posi on that block. Now active Plume's skill 
now and in theory she will die uh, yes perfect now active that medics skill and Amiya's skill too active medics skill and you can retire plume to deploy Melantha uh, here so Melantha will kill that uh, enemy senior caster and active uh, defender skill and your lava's skill too now you can retire Melantha and deploy your vanguard here to keep that uh, enemy senior caster Bazi. So you can let uh, Mia and your uh, DPS to kill uh, those uh, enemies. And uh, now you can retire uh, Amiya and uh, deploy a sniper here. And that's all.